Can you please tell me your name at the beginning? I'm Liz Heris from Belgium. Mm -hmm. When did you arrive in Japan? I arrived uh, on Monday. Monday. And I'm uh, leaving today. <laughs> really? Yes. So I'm here for a scientific conference. Ah, yes. I see. What's so on uh, biomechanics? Uh, bi biomechanics. Yes. Uh, is that big conference? It was yeah, the International Society of Biomechanics mm -hmm. and the Japanese uh, Society of Biomechanics uh -huh. had a conference in the in a conference center here in Fukuoka. Are you a scientist? Yes. A scientist. I'm a professor and a scientist. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> uh, you are coming for that conference? Yes. Yeah, no, I, not traveling. No, no, no. Because my family didn't couldn't come with me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I. I had to, uh, yeah. Only, yeah, so only short, few, yes, few, only few days. few days, yes. But I'm trying to, mm -hmm. flying this afternoon, but I'm trying to get some impression yeah. anyway by walking around. So, do you have any image of the uh, Japanese I, life culture? I, I really love coming to Japan because even I, though I can't read Japanese, I don't understand Japanese, it, I find it very easy to travel. Mm -hmm. Because everything is structured, everything mm -hmm. is logical, yeah. and if you have a problem, you know, you somebody will help you, really? even if they don't speak English and you don't speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. Somehow, it always works out. So I, I find it really easy really <laughs> to easy? travel in Japan. Yes. Really? Did you encounter any difficulties during your stay in Japan? No. 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 Very. No. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, just you go to someone and and you smile. <laughs> I know two words. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's uh, thank you and uh, hello and and then. You know, some if they can help you, they will really? point you to somebody who might help you. Yeah. So, yeah. So, have you tried any Japanese-like thing? Uh, like we had at the conference, we yeah. had traditional foods uh, oh, really? for lunch. So, yes. Well, what food did <laughs> yeah, you eat? Yeah, the banto boxes. Banto boxes. So what? What the inside? Oh, do they, you, they do you remember? No, they had a variety of things. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, and then yesterday we had a conference dinner, mm -hmm. but in the shopping mall mm -hmm. there and they had all kinds of 10 restaurants mm -hmm. having small dishes yeah. from them so I mean at least you don't get to just eat western food so yeah. it's, good. <laughs> it's good. Have you ever tried any other Japanese like culture? Uh, did you did you go to any other shrine or temple? Yeah, I've been walking around the walking around. Uh, to, to find all the shrines. Yeah. Well, so shrine only too. Fukuoka? Yes, only Fukuoka. I have been at but I don't remember the city. It wasn't a big city um, before COVID somewhere, but that was mm -hmm. there was uh, even shorter <laughs> and there was less culture. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I see. I like this one better. Can you describe your impression of Japan? This in this trip. Here in this trip, it's it's a uh, hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really it's warm, but <laughs> did, very no, hot. very friendly, helpful mm -hmm. people, and and very. Yeah, it's really safe. I mean, I just feel like we can just walk around and yeah. And, and, yeah. What initial image in your mind for uh, came to Japan about uh, Japan? Maybe that people would be a bit more severe, mm -hmm. and they're far more smiley than. Uh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, I, I mean that's just prejudice, right? But uh, yeah. no, and and other than that, it really I thought it was going to be very clean and organized, yeah. and that was exactly that. So, did you find uh, any differences between your country and uh, Japan? Oh, uh, yeah, apart from the weather. Yeah, I'm from Belgium, from, eh? so yeah. now it has been raining mm -hmm. 19 degrees for the 19 whole degrees? Week. Yes, <laughs> really <laughs> bad weather. <laughs> Typical Belgian summer weather. Um, yeah. it's, it's actually cleaner here and more structured. Yeah. Um, more helpful, I would say, oh. in general. Yeah. I think people in Belgium are maybe a bit less helpful, a bit more loud. Loud? <laughs> loud, yeah. So you mean the, some noise? People, yeah, people. Uh, people yeah, uh, when they are there, they're louder. very present. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, like at the airport, Yeah. I was waiting and everybody was very quiet and, and calm. Yeah. <laughs> and suddenly I heard okay, people from the Netherlands, mm -hmm. they were very present. They were shouting in front <laughs> shouting? of everyone. I was like, okay, don't be that. <laughs> don't be so cliche. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this louder. shouting. Yeah. <laughs> if you have time, do you want to any other prefectures? Uh, I, I think when, if I would ever want to travel Japan, I would yeah. want to do the nature, more the, the uh, nature yeah. things. So and countryside and, you yeah, want countryside, to go. Yeah, countryside, that's uh, mm. more, rather than the city centers. But mm -hmm. 
or some the the, the holy places are always mm. interesting to visit and then and then the yeah trails and and the nature mm. yeah. do you have uh, any friends uh, who have been yeah. in japan before? no no well and i have some colleagues in japan mm -hmm. but i don't have any personal friends. I have some people really? that lived here for a bit, mm -hmm. but then they already left, so... <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. I have a few more questions. I think it's a difficult question, because uh, you you have stayed only a yeah. few days, but I want to ask you about... Uh, if you could bring something back to uh, your hometown, what would you bring back from Japan? As in a, a habit or a thing? Anything. Anything. I think the sense of here that everybody's responsible for the the whole for for the common places mm -hmm. that you know nobody litters mm -hmm. and and this kind of feeling that together you have to take care of mm -hmm. the common things that, yeah. that i think is, uh, is is really wonderful and it shows mm -hmm. yes, a so. bit less uh, selfishness <laughs> that, that, yeah. uh, would you like to visit japan again yeah, I, I, I do actually. <laughs> Out of all the Eastern countries, this is the one that appeals most. To me. Yeah. 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 Lastly, what message would you like to convey to people who are considering visiting to Japan? Um, that they shouldn't be afraid, you know, that they have to be friendly and kind yeah. and then that, uh, that things will work out. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> So thank you for uh, cooperating. You're very welcome. I hope it was a bit useful, <laughs> even that I was here so short. But, uh. Very, very hard. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you for cooperating. It's okay. My uh, at first, I would like to know your name. Lena. And my and name is Lou. Where are you from, guys? Friends. When did you arrive in Japan? Ten, day, ten days ago. Ten days ago. Hmm. Where did you arrive? Uh, Osaka. Have you visited other prefecture before coming to Fukuoka? Yes. yes. We went to Osaka, Kobe. Then we rented a car. Yeah. We drove to Tokushima. So yes. Shikoku Island. Yeah. Uh, Shikoku yes. Island. Shikoku, yes. yes. Tokushima. Yes. Yeah. yes. We went to Tsurugi. 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 Uh, we went to Ehime. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, to Fukuoka. Uh, yes, by ferry or something? By um, Shikansen. This is uh, day two. This in is day two, two. yes. In we arrived yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So, which prefecture uh, the most do you like? Mm. So far, I think it's Ehime. Ehime prefecture with okay. Ehime prefecture. Ehime, the, the mountains and the nature. And uh, nature is uh, yes. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You said you live in uh, France. Yes. Which part of France? Bordeaux. City area or more uh, city area, city area. But close to the countryside. Mm. Yes, like one hour away from the city. Mm. What prompted you to decide to visit Japan? Uh, the love for the culture in Japan mm -hmm. and for food as well. So, and, uh, what what kind of culture you mean? The way of living, really simple and uh, hmm. the calm of it, maybe, and nature as well. How about anime or something like yes, that? Yes, of course. This is what uh, introduced us to the Japan culture, obviously, mm -hmm. when we were kids. Mm -hmm. This is what we started with, with Japan. Mm -hmm. But now it's more like, yes, the culture, the atmosphere and everything. And we try to not do Japan only for the manga mm -hmm. and only for the anime. Because, I see. Yes, it's a good memory for us, but not everything. Mm. Yes. Have you tried any Japanese food before coming to Japan? Uh, Oops. We used to live in Paris. I guess it's the city where you can find the most uh, Japanese food. Because uh, in Bordeaux, there is not much uh, Japanese rest. Yeah. And we love Japanese food. Yeah. <laughs> we try to do as much as Japanese food as we can. Do you have any friend who, who have been Japan before? Yes, yes, yes. so we do, yes, mm. we yes. do. Yeah, we each of us have yeah, we one. Do. Hmm. Uh, you have no much uh, information about Japan. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. But we, we research uh, things ourselves hmm. on the internet and on hmm. YouTube. And Did you have any Japanese-like cultural things in this trip? Kind of tea ceremony or oh. wearing kimono no. No, no, no. fashion? No, no. yet. Yeah. We are tourists, but we don't really want to see tourists. So trying to we try to yeah alter, alternative things. We don't want to do like uh, yeah. stuff and yeah. tea ceremony, but uh, rather we 
we go to people's place, sleep at people's, and uh, this yeah. is what we did when we were in Tokushima Prefect. We slept at um, at uh, Japanese families' home. Have you have you visited any other Asian country before? Uh, yes, I've been to Thailand and uh, Cambodia. So I I imagine big difference between. Yes, it's not the same at all. Yeah. Totally different. Totally different. <laughs> yes. But good, but not the same as Japan. Mm. Mm. Thank you for cooperating. It's okay. But well, thank you for being on our YouTube. And uh, the first of all, I'd like to ask you uh, where you are from. So we're from England, uh, London. London. Uh, we work uh, at a law firm in London, so we're both lawyers. A lawyer? Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> and you took a long vacation? Yes. yes. So how long are you going to? So I'm staying for six weeks, uh -huh. and he's staying for two weeks. Oh, okay. So we live together, but first two weeks we're together oh. after four weeks she'll be on her own I'm back at work oh okay um, the both uh, lawyers yes attorneys? okay if I have some problem I'd like to <laughs> <laughs> reach you later but when uh, did you uh, arrive the two weeks that we used to yes so we got here uh, last week uh -huh. and we traveled to we arrived into Tokyo uh -huh. uh, and then we traveled to uh, Kyoto and then Hiroshima, and we visited Miyajima, uh -huh. and then now to Osaka. Oh, uh, you went to uh, Miyajima? Miyajima. Uh -huh. How did you like it? Oh, it was amazing. Beautiful, yeah. They had a lot of deer as well that you could talk to, and they talk came up. To the deer. Well, they, they came up to you and tried to steal my ice cream. And, <laughs> the um, deer? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> very, very friendly, very friendly. Another place than Nara, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. we're going to Nara on Friday. Mm. Friday, yeah. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, you want to see the big Buddha? The big Buddha, mm. and mm. when we were in in Tokyo, we went to Kamakura, Kamakura mm -hmm. and uh, Enoshima Island and saw the Big Buddha in Kamakura right, as well. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, we're going to go see the Big Buddha in, in Nara. Oh, I see. What do you think about this castle? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it's much bigger than I thought, actually. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know it would be so big because, mm. I mean, it's, a, it's an old building, mostly. Mm. Um, and I studied history at university, so I love historical buildings and oh. things like that. But it's a massive area, all the, the fort all around it is very big. I didn't mm -hmm. know it was so big, the big moat all around it. Not um, only the building. You not only the building, but the whole like the, the complex. Land. The whole area, yeah. 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 And, and it's been so interesting to see all the different historical aspects between all the different cities. The differences between Osaka and Kyoto and Tokyo, it's been really, really interesting, mm -hmm. hasn't it? The, the castle has a good um, story inside. So oh. all the different ways it tells you about the history of the castle and the surrounding area and the wars and battles that were fought across mm -hmm. Japan in between. Um, and then you get to the top and you have a great viewpoint as well right. of Osaka. So we just arrived today in Osaka, so it was a good uh, way to see the history but also see the landscape of the city as well. So. Did you uh, another castle? This is the uh, first castle. First castle. First we've castle, seen lots of temples, lots of shrines. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, this is the first castle we've been yeah. to. We've been to a few imperial palaces as well. So. In, in Tokyo. In Kyoto and oh, Tokyo. In, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. What kind of like, like Japanese experiences have you had so far? Last or night. Not yet? <laughs> Last night was a really good one. We had the Okonomiyaki. Oh, okay. In, um, it's called Oka, Okonomiyuri. Okonomiyuri. Yeah, huh? Okonomiyuri in Hiroshima, the famous Okonomiyaki area. Uh -huh. And there's a big building that has just Okonomi Okonomiyaki restaurants on every floor. Uh -huh. And so it's uh, served in the the tapan grill in front of you mm -hmm. and we are going to a, a ramen cooking class back in tokyo uh -huh. just to learn how to make ramen for oh. ourselves well we're going next week hopefully we'll learn a lot because mm. um, we want to try and make it back at home mm. right right most of our japanese experiences are around food so mm. a lot of where you sit in front of people cooking and we had like a tempura night in front of tempura chefs making all this tempura stuff for us and uh, okonomiyaki as well and um, we went to a ramen bar and they had a really nice ramen made for us it's as well. been really it's been really interesting as you said you know we we love to explore the different foods in the area and it's been really interesting to go into lots of different izakayas and little small restaurants that you wouldn't necessarily they don't, they don't look like much from the outside and then you go in and you have these amazing restaurants that uh, chefs have been making the food for years and years and it's all just the food incredible, is great incredible all yeah incredible great. experience one other thing was uh, an onsen uh -huh. an onsen which is very different to something in yeah. london we never see that in london <laughs> yeah, we don't have onsen um, back home so i'd be very brave and go into an onsen but it was really good uh, really good. very relaxed and that was in kyoto and um it was in our hotel and it was quite high up so you had a view 
over the city. Mm. So that was very hot, but yeah. um, very <laughs> peaceful. Uh, it was a good experience to do an onsen as well. That kind of uh, the culture is very unique mm. of the Japan, but also there are some in Turkey or that kind of place. Yeah, they, have so they have Turkish too, but, baths and Turkish uh, spas. And I've done like a Turkish mud bath in the past, but mm. it's very different. It's it's still, it's, it doesn't feel as relaxing and peaceful mm. as, as Japanese. Uh, culture and, and we, it's, it's very just reflective of Japanese culture in general everybody is so polite oh. and so friendly and so enthusiastic and, and particularly with the restaurants we've been into everybody is so passionate about what they're doing and they love seeing us come and mm. even last night in this Okonomiyaki restaurant there we had a Japanese family next to us and mm. they were talking to us about why we're here in Japan and, mm. and you know it's it's really fascinating for us to be able to speak to, to the local people as well and be able to learn more about the area and even on our first day in Tokyo we went to the um, government building mm. and we got a tour from this lovely lady who gave us a tour of the whole building and the whole area and was showing us all the sites in Tokyo and that was incredible wasn't it she was just a volunteer showing us around um, and it just speaks to just speaks to the culture of, of Japan everyone's so so lovely it's it's been amazing I always, yeah, I always feel like very uh, proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should, and, it, and, yeah. it, and it really so shows as well. It really shows yeah. everybody is so proud of. Uh, and everything is so clean. You know, everyone, <laughs> there's yeah. so much care. Everyone cares about the, how things look and the yeah. cleanliness, and I love that. You know, and, mm. uh, you don't get that in the UK as much. Um, so I think it's something to be proud of. Particularly notice there's not very many bins here, yeah. especially in Tokyo. There's no bins anywhere, uh -huh. but it, it helps yeah. to keep the streets even cleaner. I think you'd think yeah, that if there are no bins, there'd be more litter. But because there's, there's no bins, people are more conscious of taking it away with them and not just leaving it out. So mm -hmm. that's been really fascinating, mm -hmm. hasn't it? But yeah. we've definitely got used to keeping a little bag of rubbish <laughs> with us. I think the, um, the Shinkansen was great as well. The oh. bullet train, fast uh -huh. train. Right, right, right. In the UK, we have very slow trains. They're always late. <laughs> the Shinkansen is always on time, yeah. super fast, yeah. clean, spacious. Within the UK, so to get around in the UK, the trains take a really long time. Oh, yeah. um, so Not to travel mm. the same distance here would take like an hour and a half. It would take four or five hours back in the UK. So, yeah, so my family live up north and it takes oh. me forever to get to the city all the time. Um, but it, uh, they're always cancelled or delayed <laughs> as well. So. Oh. Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of band culture or what kind of Japanese stuff? It doesn't matter, like a tangible in, or intangible. What would you like to bring to your country? I really like. Um, I say the how clean everything is as well. So that's, yeah. that's something that I'd like to see more of. But also, I feel like Japanese culture, people are much more uh, trusting. Mm -hmm. You can trust people and much more respectful of public places, but also each other. And you know, in the UK, as I think, you would you would never leave your belongings out on a table right. to get stolen. Right, Whereas right. in Japan, <laughs> never happens. People would have hand things in, or they would say, "He forgot this." Or yeah. whatever. So people, it's the kindness, perhaps. Mm. Would be, yeah. And I think, as we spoke about just then, about you saying you're proud of your country, I think that we we've seen that massively. And as I said, when we had a tour of Tokyo on the first day, the lady was so proud of everything she was showing us, mm. and it's so nice to see everybody's so proud of their country and wanting to show that off and I think that's something that's really nice and I'd like to sort of take that home and, and to be able to see that more uh, back home people will be proud of, of themselves and, and their area. Uh, and they're proud of the food too so a lot of there is good food in the UK but there's a lot of average food as well <laughs> so whereas Japan everything is really look really good and yeah. everyone's proud of what they cook and create and you don't have that in the UK mm. so the food culture I'd like in the UK as well and the vending machines, I love the vending machines, they're everywhere, yeah, always really have a drink. Yeah. Especially when it's really hot, to be able to stop and get a drink. Yeah, and the air conditioning, we, don't have, we need more air conditioning. We don't need it back home. <laughs> what do you buy at uh, buy the vending machine, like a coffee? Well, I, uh, generally a cold drink, because cold. it's been so hot. It's not so hot mm. in Osaka, but mm. back in Kyoto, it was so hot in Kyoto. Mm. And so you're walking down the street, you need to have a drink all the time, because you get so dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So that's been nice to be able to have a cold drink wherever you are. Yeah. And all the convenience stores, so 7 Eleven, Lawson, Family Mart, they have loads of options. So much selection. <laughs> yeah. In the UK, there's not that much. It's, um, it's a few, but not that much. But there's so much uh, cold drinks, but also you can have like 
small like heated burgers or wraps yeah. or whatever. So cultural. Or you have <laughs> your seafood. Yeah, those sushi triangles. Sushi triangles. We like those. Um, sushi triangles. You know yes, the you know, um, like wrapped in nori rice wrapped in nori. On, on, onigiri maybe we yes, call yeah, it. Yes, onigiri. Yeah, onigiri. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're yeah. really good. As sushi well. triangle onigiri. <laughs> There's so much choice. You know, uh, in the UK is not that much choice in the small shops. I don't think so. That would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, there's a lot. <laughs> we love it here. But if we go to the go to London, so there is no that kind of hospitality. <laughs> we don't. It's, we cannot find. It's, it's just it's just different. You know, here yeah. everybody is so passionate about what they're doing, uh-huh. and I think something we just we discussed the other day is how here a lot of the food is very um, traditional Japanese food. You know, for example, you have the ramen and the sushi and. Uh-huh. Um, the Hiroshima Okonomiyaki and all of these things. Whereas in London, although we do have some really good food in London, we take a lot of inspiration from other cultures. Mm. So if we go out to eat in the UK, we'd go out for an Italian meal or a Japanese meal or a Chinese meal. There's not that much food that is very British influenced. Mm. So it's really nice here for everybody to be so proud of their own food and that to be everyone to be so passionate about what they're making. I think mm. that's slightly different in the UK. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more restaurants where it's, you know, it's, it's just a different experience you, oh. when you see the chefs cooking right mm-hmm. in front of you and they're right. so passionate and so excited about what they're doing. Like an artist. Yeah, it, it, it really yeah. is a form of art mm-hmm. and it's so it's such a nice experience, isn't it? I love it. Yeah, I bring that back. For sure. Yeah. Wow, I see. And lastly, uh, do you have some like a uh, message or advice to those who are uh, considering coming to Japan or hesitating? Absolutely. To Japan? Absolutely. Yeah, the, yeah. Just do it. Because honestly, you know, it's one of those things. I've wanted to come to Japan for my whole life. And a lot of people, you know, we're still quite young. And a lot of people said to us, oh, Japan's really expensive. Go when you're a bit older, when you've got a bit more money. And I thought, well, I'll have more money when I'm older, but I'm never going to have all this time again. Mm. So, you know, we've, we've come here. Yeah, the flights were not were not very cheap from the UK. But once you're here, as we said, the convenience of the little mm. local stores, you can eat very cheaply if you want to. Obviously, there are some amazing restaurants that are very expensive, mm-hmm. but it's not expensive to be here every day. Mm. Um, and just having this experience now when we've got, you know, we've got this time and energy and youth in us, uh-huh. you know, don't hold back doing it don't put it off until you're older and just come and do it you know it's, we're, we love it don't we I think my message would be it can seem quite scary because a lot of people say in Japan there's not loads of English speakers uh-huh. English isn't always amazing but it's, it, it is not that hard to move around when you're here so getting the trains the subway the tram whatever it is it's actually not that hard you know, yeah it is very simple it, it all works it all flows and mixes together mm. so don't be scared about the non-english speaking element don't yeah, be scared about true. the transport yeah it all works when you're here it just, yeah it, you figure it, it out works. and everybody is so friendly and even if we speak two different languages we figure it out you know mm. and we've if people speak a lot less english than i thought to be yeah. honest but we figured it out haven't we and even today you know we we've, we've um we're going to see the baseball on Friday mm. and we went and we got went to a little machine and it was all in Japanese uh, and we had a little translator that we were using our phones to translate the message and uh-huh. we've used this machine all in all in Japanese and managed to get tickets to go to some baseball on Friday uh-huh. so that's exciting oh. um, but you get by you know as uh-huh. you say the yeah. the language barrier is not a barrier it's uh, it's been crazy. it's been so easy and yeah, yeah. don't be scared about that yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm just curious about the baseball <laughs> yes. which, uh, which we're going baseball? to see yeah. um oh now you say the buffaloes Buff- buffaloes oh, at the kaisera dome Kaisa. here in osaka oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, because obviously baseball is a big 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 sport here right. i've so. never seen it before my first baseball so <laughs> very excited so it's, very it's more like a football culture yeah yes. so you don't see baseball yeah, yeah. we play mm. um football and cricket do you know cricket yeah, yeah cricket <laughs> as well. Baseball's uh, to me, I have never seen, but mm-hmm. it's simple, more simple. You just Do you know throw, the rules? Throw I've seen baseball a few times. I've seen it in America, and I've seen I have seen it in London. Uh-huh. The Americans teams came to London, uh-huh. um, so I think it'll be a really good experience to, to see it here in Japan. It's because yeah. fun. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for talking. Thank you. I guess because I'm us. And uh, I hope you guys uh, keep enjoying staying in Japan. Thank you, thank you very well. much. First of all, may I ask where you guys are from? So I'm from Italy. Italy? Yeah. Which part of Italy? Um, close to Milan. It's 
the north? Yes, in the oh, north. Okay. Hey, how about you? I'm from England, also from the north of England. Uh, oh, it's a city called Sunderland. And uh, is this your first time? For me, it's the first time in Japan, but it won't be the last. Oh, I come back. Okay. <laughs> what made you to come to Japan? So I've been traveling Southeast Asia for the past six months, and uh -huh. then I have a friend here in Osaka, Japanese oh. friend. So I came to visit her, uh -huh. and then I'm um, traveling through the country and exploring uh -huh. and meeting new travelers. <laughs> so, so you came both together? Or no, no, no we met yesterday oh, oh, in Kyoto. Okay, good. Yeah. I see, I see. And uh, so far, how many? I think I've spent five or six so far. Yeah. Uh, about two weeks, I two think. Weeks. Uh, Nearly two weeks, yeah. You are flew into Osaka or? I flew into to... Osaka, yes. Oh, okay. You only take the in Osaka so far? Or... Uh, yeah. I mean, I've been based here, but I travel four days into Kyoto. Uh -huh. And then I went to Kobe uh -huh. to visit other traveler I met. Oh, I see. In <laughs> Thailand. And then I'm planning on going to Koyasan. Yeah, and then go to Tokyo and Hiroshima. Did you have like a special activity, like a Japanese activity or event? No, I feel like I've just been walking around, oh, sightseeing, okay. taking pictures. Okay. <laughs> Nothing oh. too special. I did. Oh, <laughs> you good. Can you share I've been to a that? festival. <laughs> Oh, this festival? Um, okay. In the south of Osaka, in uh -huh. one smaller town, uh -huh. and they do every year. Uh -huh. And there is like a massive uh, kind of a. Uh, like a car, but. Uh, yeah, and they, they play, hold they hold it and uh -huh. they play. Uh -huh. And then uh, they hold, hold, like these guys are holding these like woods. Uh -huh. And it's very fun and exciting mm. to see. Uh, and they quickly. sing and they go up and down. Uh -huh. I think it's a basically it's a, like a small shrine. Yes, so, right. It's a, I mean it's like very long uh, mm. wooden pieces and like these guys are holding and also the kids because it's just like the kids and the fathers they holding it and then there's one guy singing and there's one guy at the top and this guy was holding an umbrella and uh, they were playing the, the drum. Drum. Mm. Yeah, and it was quite exciting for me uh, to see. Kishiwada? Is that the name of the city? Yeah, the, the Kishiwada is a pretty popular one. Okay. Uh, city, mm -hmm. city, but but anyway. I, I forgot the name. All of yeah. that. You know, <laughs> I was very excited about what everything yeah. was happening. <laughs> I think it's one of the crazy kind of uh, events that we yeah. have around Osaka. What kind of Japanese food have you tried? So uh, I don't know. You have hard. No, I have, but oh. it's uh, just the names, the pronunciation. Oh, you tried it today? Uh, yeah, my, my favorite one was today, the Omanomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. I knew I'd mess it up, but yeah, uh -huh. Okonomiyaki. Uh -huh. <laughs> say it. uh -huh. That was delicious, yeah. Do you have that kind of food in your country? Um, oh, well, I live in Shanghai, so I, I eat Chinese food quite a lot. Oh, you live in China? Yeah, I live in Shanghai. I'm oh, from England, oh, but Shanghai. I live in Shanghai now. Oh, yeah, I for the past see. Four years. So yeah. you work there? In yeah, yeah, oh. I work there. So I eat Japanese food quite a lot, I eat Chinese food quite a lot, uh -huh. and Korean food quite a lot. Yeah. Do, do they have Japanese food in Shanghai, very authentic ones? Or they do, um, and or they try to some differences. There's them? definitely um, quality differences. I mean, it's very authentic. I think some of the people that work there are Japanese as well. And when you walk in, they do the whole Japanese greeting and the bowing and stuff. But um, the food quality, it's definitely better in Japan. Maybe they convert a little bit. For Chinese people, yeah, I don't know. China it's just or... I don't think it's it's the same, uh -huh. but different. Okay. <laughs> you know, quality is different. Uh, I don't right. know. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. ingredients or... Maybe it's just in my head. Mm -hmm. But a good example is those little octopus balls. The oh, takoyaki. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So they have all those vendors all the way around Shanghai too. Uh -huh. But I had some today on uh, that Don Donobuchi Street. Uh, Dotonbori. That's the uh, pronunciation. It's so okay, it's okay. It's but yeah, it's incredible. Okay. Uh -huh. Way better than the ones in Shanghai. Oh. Yeah. And I can't describe why. Uh -huh. They were like bigger, just better, mm. fresher, mm. better quality. You're from Italy. Mm -hmm. Spain. For us, it's a place of pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and have you tried pizza in Japan? I haven't tried it yet, actually. Uh huh. Um, I'm so curious. You know, I, how yeah, I wanted to experience like the Japanese food because uh -huh. it's, uh, it's just so good and fresh. Uh -huh. So I haven't really, I didn't kind of feel the need of trying pizza here because uh, food here is just so good. Very healthy. Uh -huh and fresh. What is your favorite? So 
I really love sushi, sushi. but I think okono uh, okonomiyaki. okonomiyaki was the best I tried so far. Oh. And then we tried different kind of I tried different kind of ramen. Uh-huh. And I'm a big fan of ramen. I love ramen too. Oh. But there's yeah, I don't know which one I like. There are a couple of types of broth mm. I can show you. Yeah. And also salt. So, mm -hmm. And also miso. Yeah, miso. Uh -huh. And also tonkotsu. I have one that begins with an A. What is it? Begins with an A. Uh, something. It was the type of ramen. The pork was cold, but the broth was hot. And then they mixed together, and eventually the pork became warm. And it's like chunks of pork. Uh, it was in Tokyo. I have no idea. Yeah. No. Oh. Sorry, I just completely threw you off. Oh, okay. <laughs> useless information. What would you uh, like to bring back to your country? Like, uh, if you could, like a tangible thing or intangible. I'm being really impressed with the kindness of people. Yeah. So I wish, like also in my country, I do like the comparison most of the time. Uh -huh. And I think if I would be in Italy, how people would react. Uh -huh. Even like at the train station or like in the highway, I go highway like uh, from one place to another, like last week. And they just so kind. They like, you know, they see you and they just respect you, I don't know, it's like in Italy doesn't, sometimes it doesn't really happen everywhere really? and people like here, they smile and they, they're friendly so friendly they're shy maybe, yeah, but I... uh, this is not like a problem, I mean it's, uh, oh, it's different but I would probably bring the kindness back with me yeah, it's <laughs> a big sense of community uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm so glad to hear that yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of like even sometimes when you're paying and you don't get the cash right and uh, and they will correct you you know or if you leave money on the table or if you leave something they will like bend their back back or break their back backwards to try and give you a back you know um, I don't know just honest kind in the sense of community I, I would say the same you know, those are really good values to bring back not saying that England doesn't have them but it's just more evident out here yeah. you know I see it a lot it more often a, it's a lot and it's more often it's very nice to see and to appreciate. But maybe that's just because we're tourists, you know, we like no. we say hello and then find No, out like I've seen it, I've been living with my friend and then mm. the family and True. I've been experienced a little bit like with the local because I like to uh, experience with locals and meet the locals, even if there's right, like right, a, right. A barriers with the language. I mean you still understand each other, it's just yeah amazing. Finally, what kind of message you would say to our viewers, like who watching and maybe considering visiting Japan definitely do it because it's a it's a magical world it's a very different the sense of culture out here um, and you'll really enjoy it it's just beautiful and uh, I really enjoy the people uh, and the views and yeah. uh, the landscapes even like outside of the cities uh, and the chance you have like to even have a walk or like going to the river I just really like oh, the great the sense of it, like the vibration that the oh, that Japan you. gives you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. Just bring lots of money. <laughs> For food. Yeah. <laughs> to enjoy. Because oh, okay. you always like, need to try new food. Yeah. Well, but by the way, did you go up there to the castle? No. no. We didn't enter. Uh -huh. We've yeah. been outside. Have yeah. a good time. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. How can you not? This place is yeah. lovely. Oh. Yeah, just look at the water, it's crystal right. blue around it. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking. No worries, yeah, thank, thank you. you. It was so fun to talk to you. Yeah, you too. Thank yeah. you, same. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> so, thank you for your time. I would like to ask your name at the first. Uh, Anna. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Oh, which part of Germany? Uh, Western Germany, mm -hmm. like two hours from Hamburg. When did you arrive in Japan? At the beginning of August. One and a half months. Yes. Well, why did you come to Japan? Just for vacation. I just <laughs> finished university and this is like the gap between university and yeah. starting to work. So I took the time to come to Japan. What did you study? Molecular biomedicine. Why did you choose Japan for your trip? Because I think it's really different from Germany or mm -hmm. Europe in mm -hmm. general. Yeah. And I'm really interested in like culture, also like the different religions that mm -hmm. you have here. I think it's also really pretty landscape wise. Mm -hmm. And once I started like researching more and more, I was I was hooked. I definitely wanted really? to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the most interesting? Most interesting. So I think the whole temple and shrine mm -hmm. 
things are really interesting because yeah. we don't have that at all. But I think you also have like really interesting food culture. Mm -hmm. I tried a lot of different things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I do I say I love it. So uh, yeah, I think these two things. Did you go to uh, Kushida Shrine? Yes, I yeah. went yesterday. Yeah. How was that? Oh, I really liked it, yeah. Did you go to any other cities uh, before coming to Fukuoka? Yes, uh, so I started in Tokyo, Tokyo, yeah. and then I went to Hakone, Hakone, and from there I went to Osaka, Kyoto. Mm -hmm. I also was in Nara, and then I went to Totori, and then Onomichi. Onomichi, yeah, yeah that's nice. And Hiroshima, and now I'm here. Oh, so many cities <laughs> yes. you visited. Which one is your favorite city? Also really yeah. difficult. Um, I think I liked Hiroshima, Hiroshima. most, yes, mm -hmm. because of the history it has yeah. and like how beautiful it is today. So I visited the Peace Museum mm -hmm. Peace and the Museum. contrast of what has happened and oh. how it is now is just like immaculate. So yeah. Did you try the okonomiyaki? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, loved it. Did you try any other special dishes around the other cities? Well, I'm really into ramen. So. <laughs> Most of the times I'm having ramen. Ramen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also tried some oysters because I'm not like into much fish before I came here. Mm -hmm. So I also tried like ale. I also like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like octopus. You haven't ate uh, octopus? No, I haven't. And I also really like the sweets. Did you encounter any difficulties in Japan? So I think the only difficulty is the language yeah. sometimes yeah. because not everyone speaks English mm, <laughs> but I, I think you can handle it with like Google Translator yeah. and like just showing people yeah, what yeah, you yeah. want to yeah. have. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think so. I think everyone was really friendly and like helpful mm -hmm. and also oh, public transportation is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Everything is so on time. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe language is the only thing that's like a little difficult. I would like to know your initial image in your mind about typical Japanese before you come to Japan. It is above my expectations, mm -hmm. I have to say. I was thinking about like a really calm mm -hmm. and like traditional way mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. But like especially when I went to like the bigger cities like Tokyo or yeah. Osaka, yeah. it's not calm at all. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think you really more contrast that I thought there would be and that is really great. Also, the variety of things mm -hmm. that I can do, like activity-wise, yeah. also is above my expectation. For example, I thought I want to go climb Mount Fuji. Mm. I did that, but now I'm planning to go to Hokkaido. And there are also like national parks and you can go hiking and stuff. Yeah. So I wasn't aware of that. Mm -hmm. So I think the variety of things that you can do is mm. just amazing. Do you find any differences between your country and Japan? Ah, uh, Japan is much more cleaner. <laughs> that was that is really surprising because mm -hmm. like if it's a park like this, like in Germany, you would have trash somewhere. Oh, really? You can't avoid it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here you can, so it's like really nice. Yeah. Temperature of course. And like the humidity. I yeah. think now it's okay, but in the beginning of my trip it was like Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> I think transportation wise mm -hmm. it's also different because I think in Germany we're more dependent on like cars and highways. Yeah. And I think here you can easily do everything with bus and train. Yep. I think many things. Food, of course, is, is yeah, different. Food. Also, like the mentality of the people is different, I think. Yeah, like, really. Many people approach me and we're like, hi, where are you from? Uh, have a nice trip. And just like, I don't know, being there and being friendly and mm -hmm. interested. And I think that would not happen to you in Germany. Like somewhere also like, ah, do you want to grab a coffee? I want to practice my English. And I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? And also if somebody like sees that I'm struggling, for example, mm -hmm. once I wanted to store my luggage at an, a train station and I didn't know how, they come up to you and ask, do you need help? Should I translate? And I was like, that's amazing. Like that mm. is so great. Have you ever visited any other countries? So I've been to a few countries in Europe mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I went to Thailand once. Really? Yes. And I think there it's kind of similar, mm -hmm. but people are still friendly in a different kind of way, I think. <laughs> I think in Japan you don't have to be worried that somebody is gonna like scam you, has not the best in mind. Mm -hmm. And I think in Thailand maybe, sometimes I had an experience where mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, I just was scammed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I, I think see. that's different here and also like, again, 
the cleanliness, mm. it's different, yeah. If you could bring something back to your country, what mm -hmm. would you bring back? I think I have to bring food. <laughs> Robin, probably. Like like a personal chef from here. Oh, that we're just that's nice. <laughs> because it's just so good. I think you can get it like in Germany in some places, but it's just not the same. <laughs> oh. What message uh, would you like to convey to people who are considering visiting to Japan? Mm -hmm. So I think if you're thinking about going, you should definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, in the beginning, am I brave enough to do it? Because I'm traveling alone mm -hmm. and I'm like, hmm. But you can definitely do it. It's so mm -hmm. safe and you will have so much fun here. Yeah. People are so nice. Yeah. Of course, it is a little bit more on the pricey side compared to Southeast Asia. Yeah. But I think it's definitely worth it. Do you have any recommend for the people who want to go to your country? Yeah, so I think Germany also has a variety of things. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend not only going to one place. Mm -hmm. So many people I spoke to were like, yeah, I want to go to Berlin yeah, or Berlin. I want to yeah. go to Munich. Yeah. And of course, these are cities that you should visit mm -hmm. because they have like traditional things yeah. from Germany. But I think especially when you're in Bavaria, like Munich, you should mm -hmm. definitely visit smaller cities because they're just beautiful. Yeah. We have a lot of old buildings, yeah. lakes, mm -hmm. see, lakes. Yeah, and just try to travel around, try mm -hmm. to use the the trains if they're on ah, time, yeah. they are good. <laughs> also like enjoy the food. The most typical thing you could mm. eat would probably be beer. Uh, beer, of course, mm. to drink, and then like sausages beer, and yeah. schnitzel. Yeah. yeah, and we have a lot of potatoes and like mm -hmm. so many ways, like oh. mashed, grilled, fried. Yeah, definitely try those. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you for cooperating. <laughs> sure. First of all, uh, what's your name? My name is Robert. Robert. And you? Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. Uh, I'm Paul. Cool. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, where are you from, guys? Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver, Vancouver Canada. Yeah. yeah. When did you arrive in Japan? Would have been eight, eight days ago. Eight days ago. Only eight days. We started in Tokyo. From Tokyo. From yeah. Tokyo, and then we traveled. Uh, South to Kyoto, and then went to we Nara. did Nara, Nara, and then Osaka, Osaka. and yeah. then back to Kyoto, and then went south to Kumamoto. We went to uh, Oita. 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 From Oita back to Kumamoto, then Kumamoto to here. Oh, uh, very busy. Yeah, yeah very busy. <laughs> very busy. Uh, have you had any typical Japanese activities? Lots, lots, lots. lots. We did. We did a couple of food tours. Yeah. We went to a few temples. We went to a few shrines. A lot of eating. We went to a festival last night. Yeah. What, um, what festival? It starts with an H. I H. don't remember. It was, it was a festival for in nature um, for animals. Animals. Yes. Where, where did you go? It was close to here. We took a train from here. Uh, two stops away. Two stops away. Oh, very nice. We had a Japanese friend. She took us. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What did you eat? At the festival, we had some chicken karage, mochi, octopus balls. I don't remember the name of that Takoyaki? specifically. Yes, yes. Ice Takoyaki. cream. Lots ice of cream. ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. We had I'm the. So the mashed potato french fries. Oh yeah, mashed potato french fries. They were like mashed potato. The very long one? The long one, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Those, ones. those ones, we had They're those. They were very good. Yeah. yeah. We played the, the game where you take the needle and you scratch out the candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have to get the shape. We really had to. Yes, yes. I, we we didn't to. succeed. We didn't succeed. We didn't get it. It was, it was like, fun though. We shot the I wanted arrows. to fish for the eel. Yeah. But you had to keep the eel after, and I didn't need an eel <laughs> yeah. in a hotel room. So yeah. I didn't play that one. Yeah. And then last night we went to the onsen. Yeah. Which oh. one? Hotel. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we also went to Oata for an onsen that I was allowed into because I'm heavily tattooed ah, so yeah. had, it was trouble finding one where I was uh, you didn't into the onsen no so um, Japanese culture like onsens are kind of the one thing they're still very picky about for tattoos just because it used to be such a, like yeah. a gang related recently recently uh, the people uh, has their tattoo yeah. can get mm -hmm. into onsen. Yeah, it's, uh, I still find the onsen was the only difficult A yeah. lot of them were no tattoos still, but everywhere else I haven't had a problem. Yeah. yeah. Any other experiences? We went to Nara, we went to feed the deer. Uh, the deer. Uh, we did the, we did yeah. the bowing deer. deer. Yeah. That was so a lot of fun. fun. <laughs> the, the bowing deer was yeah. so much fun. Yeah, I love uh, that. 
We did. We went to the bamboo grove in uh, Kyoto. Yeah, Kyoto. In Kyoto. We did there. We um, went to a temple with a large Buddha statue. Yeah. yeah that was he was, I think, 40 meters high. Uh, yeah. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Very big. Blew our minds. Um, yeah. What else have we done? We went to the Okonomiyaki village. Uh, in yes. Hiroshima. You like that? Yeah. It's so yeah. Good. So good. So uh, you visited good. Uh, yeah, We did Hiroshima, Hiroshima as well. Oh, yeah. We went to the museum there. We visited peace, the, peace, the, peace the Peace Museum. Peace yeah. Museum. Yeah. Peace Memorial the Museum. Peace Memorial. We went to the A Bomb Dome. Yeah. Um, that was a really emotional day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a very difficult day. You could find some contrast. Yeah. yeah, history and uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot. I think one of the most educational parts of like the Peace Memorial mm -hmm. Museum is that they really showcase like both sides of it. Yeah. They didn't like they were showing like their disaster, but they also admitted to Pearl Harbor in uh, the yeah. museum, yeah. and they were very like this happened first then the bombings yeah. happen. I appreciated the contrast of like them yes. showcasing, yeah. you know, that the war was two sides. This happened out of nowhere. It was like, no, this is the true and real history. Yeah. And that was something very important to me. It's a very moving, very moving. Yeah. Yeah. Very moving day. day yeah. Yeah. Did you encounter any difficulties in your stay? No. Honestly, no. it's been... It's been lovely. It's no been problem. lovely, like no very, very easy to get around. Yeah. I mean, it's helpful that a lot of the signs are in English, but yes. even if like somebody doesn't speak English, mm. as long as you're smiling, <laughs> they're willing to work yeah. with you, yeah. which is something that I really love about Japanese culture. Yeah. It's been very simplistic, like figuring things out, even if there's a huge language barrier or there's no signs that we can understand. We've managed to like get by. We've managed to eat well. We've managed to travel yeah. well. It's been really lucky. And everybody's very, very helpful. If we have questions, everybody's willing to help. Yeah. Uh, everybody wants to show you the right way. And it's the way that we've been able to like get around through the trains has been very, very good. Yeah. Uh, you know, today in today's day and age, we have the internet as well. So using Google to help yeah. really helps. But you know, sometimes we get lost, and it's you know, there's always people that show us the right way. So that was yeah. really good. I that, love that. It's been very, very good. Yeah. yeah. Why did you uh, decide to visit Japan? Why Japan? Yeah. Japan has been on my bucket list since I was probably 13 years old. Really? Um, yeah, we studied Japan in school, uh -huh. and I just started going down the rabbit hole of learning about it. Uh -huh. So it was a huge moment for us. We actually got married in Japan uh, two days ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. We, yeah. we uh, in Kumamoto when we were there, we had our ceremony. That's where we had our ceremony. Yeah. yeah. So we did yeah. it abroad as just a. Uh, so you had a ceremony on the YouTube? Yes. Yeah, just yeah. the two of us. Um, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. It was good. What are the biggest differences between your country and uh, Japan? This is all you. Respect. Respect. Humanity's yeah. respect level here is out of the world. Yes. Like, yeah. it's incredible. I love the fact that, like, every person you meet recognizes that you exist. You can be walking down the street and, or like in an elevator or something, and it's just like the slight bow or the slight smile. Like, mm. you're recognized as a human here, and it's like you respect each other's space, you respect each other's, like, ways. There's no... There's a respect for the environment, a respect for public space yes. as well, which is incredible. Like, take this one for example, so there's not many trash cans anywhere. You don't see very many garbage cans, but uh, you still see no garbage. So yeah. everybody everybody holds onto their garbage, they respect the public space, they hold it with them, they take it back, and when they find the garbage, they get rid of it. It's very clean everywhere, and it's very, like, it's, it's incredible that um, just the respect for, like, even public bathrooms all the public bathrooms are so clean yeah and where we and available know, available There's canada is not like that yeah. like canada like you walk in and i've had to lie and say that i'm with a child just so i could use a restroom sometimes like they're so strict about it yeah. but here it's like they're readily available yeah. and they're all clean they're all like they're free which is a difference yeah. in other countries where you have to pay to use public yeah, bathrooms yeah, yeah. that's and yeah, I love that. And just the mannerism of everybody. Everybody says, please, thank you, welcome, good morning. Everybody mm -hmm. does. And it's like, even though we don't speak the language, mm -hmm. I can tell that they're saying good morning to me. I can tell yeah. that they're saying thank you, you know, yeah. and it's like, even if I bow, they 
bow again and it's, you know, Yeah, it's, it's nice. Great. I love it. Do you have any message to the people who want to come to Japan? Do it. Do it. Do it now. Just do, do it. it. Do it. <laughs> but if you're going to do it, learn. Learn about Japan first. Yeah. Learn about um, how they go about their daily lives. Like, don't come here and be re- disrespectful yeah. to how they're already like giving you so much respect. It's, yeah, I would say that would be the biggest thing. Like, just do your research a little bit first. You know, yeah. like you're not really supposed to walk around with drinks and food. Don't like the speaking out loud on like yeah. trains, trains and yeah, just, you know in private areas like. Just make sure you're aware of like how their culture yeah. loves to like live their life, but otherwise, like it's it's amazing here. Lastly, do you have any recommend for the people who want to go to your country? Oh, for Canada? Yeah. Canada, be prepared that we have no transit between cities. Yes. Yes. The bullet trains here are a thing in Canada. Um, I mean, he drives an hour to and from work every day. Yeah. It's like. Canada is so widespread. You just have to be like very careful about your trip planning. You're not going to be able to go to Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver unless you're booking flights. Yeah, it's not a road trip. Also in Canada, I would say be prepared for loud, loud people, <laughs> loud, loud, loud everything. People. If you're used to the quiet zen yeah. here, then be prepared for the spontaneous craziness yeah. that can be in Canada. Yeah, yeah, somebody blasting a speaker on transit and yeah. things like that. But we can be warm and friendly. We're just, I would say we're not as, like, as a whole, warm and friendly as, like, the media portrays us to be. Like, a Canadian will help you, but then they'll walk away just being like, that was, I I have to be somewhere, you know? (laughs) Yeah. But definitely come to Canada. It's beautiful. uh, Vancouver area. Yeah. Montreal's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. No problem. Thank Thank you. Thank you for commenting today. Thank Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. Have a good trip. First of all, thank you very much for being on our YouTube channel. Of course. Uh, where are you guys from? We're from Denmark. Denmark. This is your first time visiting Japan? Yes. yes. When did you arrive in Japan? Almost a week ago. A week ago? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You flew into Osaka or another uh, To Narita Airport. Narita Airport. Narita, to where did you go first? Tokyo. Tokyo, of yeah. course. <laughs> How long did you stay? Well, three days in Tokyo and then we just went to uh, Fuji Yoshima for two days. Fuji, Fuji Mountain? Yeah, yeah okay. Fuji Mountain. Ah, Fuji Yoshida. Yeah. Oh, I see. What did you do in Tokyo first? We walked just around in yeah, Shinjuku. Yeah. Uh-huh. We stayed in Shinjuku area. And then we... Shibuya. 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 Uh, did you see the statue of dog? Uh, no, popular? I don't think we saw uh, oh, We okay. saw the <laughs> Me- Meijai temple. Uh, uh, the shrine. Yeah, one of the... Meiji, Meiji, Meiji Jingu. It's a shrine. Yeah, shrine and a very a huge area. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I see. So you, yeah. you walk it. Yeah. Nice. yeah. So mostly walked around. Yeah, and then the Team Lab uh, Museum. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a very popular place. Yeah. 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 Many Westerners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I tell you, uh, I think maybe it's the three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the people went there. Mm. Uh, what did you do? But I, I have never been there. Can you describe a little bit? Or? Yeah, it's just difficult. It's a more installation art, I would say. Mm. Of uh, you walk through with different light and uh, sensation, or your feet is a uh, bare feet. <laughs> so oh, you walk you, through. You feel from the uh, yeah. Yeah, floor. Yeah, so you walk water through, and... walk through water and pillows uh-huh. uh, and carpet and smooth yeah. and yeah, and then light mirrors. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. In Fuji area, Fuji mm-hmm. area, what did you do? We biked around one of the lakes. Oh, you bike? Bo- you bike? Yeah. What's bike. it called? The uh, the Ka- lake? Kawaguchiko. Kawaguchiko Lake. Kawaguchiko. Uh-huh. We bike all the way around. Oh, how was it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Very beautiful. beautiful. Is that a long trip? Yeah. yeah it's Thirty-five is, kilometers yeah, total for us. Takes that. How long does it take? Yeah, Half a day. Yeah. Half four, a day. four, 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 five hours. Uh, took yeah. it slow. <laughs> it just took it slow. It's very hot and yeah. oh, a yeah. bit rainy as well. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> so you didn't go up to the mountain. No, no. No. Uh, no. Which area did you go after that? Did you came here. Yeah. yeah. We came here yesterday. Yesterday. After that. What did you do? 
here in Osaka. Uh -huh. We just uh, just came here today for the yeah. for the cast. We just arrived last night. Oh, last night. Yeah. yeah. So we just walked around here now. Yeah. And saw and the, we had saw the castle. We had a little food yesterday as well. Uh, <laughs> what did you eat? Uh, it was uh, I don't know gyoza and uh, gyoza. some egg balls with um, squid. Squid. Egg with squid. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Uh -huh. It was uh, like um, ball, uh, egg balls egg, with egg ball with yeah. sweet inside. With sweet inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a kind of sweet or sweet. No. No. It, no. It, what kind of a dish? It like was a, a. It's not a boiled egg. No, no, no. no like it's a, a scrambled, scrambled egg. egg. Yes. And put something in. Yes. Put squid inside it. Oh, is that a takoyaki? Yeah, I think maybe it's a mix, not only eggs but also flowers and uh, yep. some ingredients. Yeah. And put the uh, octopus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of the squid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, then that yeah. is uh, takoyaki. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That, the round yesterday. like yeah. bowl. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you, you like this? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Special, but yeah, it's good. How about okonomiyaki? We haven't tried that yet. Uh, mm. It's a similar. We use dough, also, uh, yeah. you, but uh, it's a, like a pancake. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that is for like a dinner. Ah. Yeah. If you go to some restaurant, we'll let you experience making like mm. it and uh, do it yourself. Mm. What is your the plan next? <laughs> uh, staying here for a few days, yeah. and then we are going to Kyoto, uh -huh. and then we're going to Nara. Do you have any plan? Like what you do, what you're going to do, or what you want to do? Uh, I think in Kyoto there are some shrines we want to see. The and Nara, we just know that it's uh, the deer. Deer. Yeah. And the big Buddha. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Did you guys learn or research about Japan before coming to Japan? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. But not so much. Uh, <laughs> Do you have some kind of image of Japan? Yeah, yeah. I so. yeah, I think Very so. Very clean, yeah. Yeah. polite people. And comparing mm -hmm. now what, what you have experienced, did you felt something like a difference or exactly what you expected? Almost, I would say. Yeah, almost. But the only thing we didn't expect is the people wearing so much clothes yeah. when it's so hot. Uh, it's, uh, most people are wearing long pants uh -huh. uh, long and sleeves. long sleeves. Or even it is very hard. Yeah, it's very, very hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Even some we even see wear gloves. Uh -huh. Like a sleeve oh, is glove. over the. I, those are maybe women. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to get sand Yeah. Yeah. Most of the reason. But yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's special because it's so hot. Yeah. Yeah. And also another reason is if you go inside of the building mm. or take subways, yeah. isn't it cold? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But I think in Denmark, it's uh, yeah, people would not wear so much clothes. <laughs> oh. Uh, people want to get tan. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's the opposite. Yeah. Doesn't change the temperature in your country. It's um, cooler. Cooler. Yeah. Yeah, not uh. cooler. I would so, say. 10 degrees colder in summer. Oh. It's throughout the year or? It's, uh, yeah, but it's in winter it's uh, freezing. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, so usually in winter it's between a few degrees freezing and maybe 5-10 de degrees yeah. Celsius. Wow. Uh. And it's summer, if it's above, I would say, 23 degrees, mm. people will be like this. Like, like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, short, short. Yeah. 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 So that is kind of interesting thing yeah. that you yeah. found. I just didn't think about it before coming no. here. I was just expecting people to be wearing shorts and yeah. t-shirts. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What would you like to bring back to your country uh, about from Japan? Like uh, things or like think idea? People idea. taking care of things in public. Yeah. It's very clean around here. Yeah. Oh, it's like very nice. It. People bring their trash with them instead of just throwing it everywhere. Mm. Yeah. And the, the konbini. <laughs> yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, you don't have konbini? No, not, not in the same. Uh, very expensive in Denmark. Yeah. Oh, I see. Do you know 7 Eleven? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. 7 Eleven, but it's. Um, very different. Very different. Very yeah. different, yeah. Uh, different stuff and much, much more expensive. 
Oh. Is that really? It would get too expensive to do every day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, in yeah. Com the Japanese convenience is really convenient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they do many things. It's like a yeah. post office. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe it's, it's different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. It's very nice. <laughs> And uh, lastly, would you like to come back to Japan? Okay. Yeah, yeah definitely. 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 I think uh, we would like to visit the north part of Japan, maybe in the winter. Yeah. Oh, in the winter? Yeah. It's going to be colder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we like the cold as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, very hot for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe right now you should have got the north. Yeah. <laughs> Did you give us some oh, to the viewer, like advice or message to those who are thinking about coming to Japan? I don't know, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's pretty easy to be here. Yeah, it's easy to be here. Yeah. To yeah, stay here? You mean? Yeah. yeah, everything has been very easy to be, but I would recommend maybe going to a smaller, we went to a nice bar with some very nice people yes. in uh, Fuji. And also I would recommend we stayed at the local place yeah. oh. in Fuji. You liked it? Yeah. Less it, people. Yeah. yeah, it was very it was very nice. It was like staying with someone's grandparents. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, it was like a, a small house with an uh -huh. elder couple who had some rooms and uh -huh. they uh -huh. make breakfast yeah. for us every day. And oh. yeah, they were so nice and it was really... Yeah. Try and visit the local places instead yeah. of the touristy places. Right, right. Yeah. It's very nice. Is that kind of like a homestaying kind of experience? It was yeah. like a better breakfast kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was kind of yeah. like staying with someone. Mm. So you could find it in internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah we just found, found it on the, on the normal yeah. websites. Oh, I see. Uh, but it was like a local uh, uh -huh. place. It's all, I think it was only us and maybe two or three more mm. people staying at that place. Mm. So now we stay like a hotel with many, many <laughs> <laughs> yeah. people. Yeah. But definitely trying trying to find the local uh, restaurants. Yeah. It's, uh, more interesting. it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. People are so nice. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you very much for sharing your of course. Thank experiences. You. It was very fun to talk to yeah, you guys. Yeah, you too. Yeah. First of all, thank you very much for being on our YouTube channel. No worries. Uh, where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Finland. It's in Finland? Northern yeah, Europe. Finland. Yeah. Helsinki. Yeah, yeah like that's Africa. right. Yeah. yeah that's Helsinki. where you're from. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, we're this. living there both. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what What do you call it? The uh, n never sang it down. Uh, oh yeah, yeah the yes. night last night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. During summer, it's so light it's always the, the sun never really sets and during winter it's been really dark and it's yeah. barely even rises right. what do you think about that is that it's very not normal yeah. for you guys yeah it's a bit difficult like at least for me during winter because it's so dark i <laughs> yeah. i do kind of find it nice here that <laughs> that it, it's dark in the night too even though it's summer yeah it's like normal to us and I yeah. know that more foreigners like struggle with the fact that it's so light during the night yeah. also but we are so used to it that it's normal so it's to us it's more weird to come here and the sun sets at six and it's yeah. dark we always and get surprised how quickly it gets dark here oh. yeah <laughs> but do you see oh, 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 the northern light <laughs> yeah actually just last night we have a really I saw my sister sending pictures like they were really usually they are during the winter but for yeah. some reason last night in Finland they were really pretty northern lights yeah. and we've both seen them too yeah. and it's, it's a special yeah, one yeah, yeah because they are so beautiful that yeah. you, you can never get used and to them it's, oh, you never get it's, used it's a bit rare to see them like in the southern parts of mm. Finland like I think you see them a bit more if you're up there in the Lapland and like the north part so we don't yeah. see them that often oh, yeah really maybe really once right. a year but yeah. like when you see it it's really yeah. magical Someday I wanna see. <laughs> yes <laughs> you definitely during winter if you go to Lapland yeah, the north and the most best, parts best chances for yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, first uh, this is my second time yeah. and for me it's first. Oh. Yeah. What's the first time? Uh, I was in 2017, so six years ago. Oh, so okay. I was traveling with friends. I was for five weeks then here, so mm -hmm. it was a bit longer trip. 
Mm. How did you uh, decide to come back to Japan? Uh, I just... She was supposed to do a student exchange here, but yeah. it was during the COVID time, so she couldn't come. <laughs> Cancelled. Yeah. yeah, so then I was like just saying to her that, well, I would really love to go back because I really like Japan. So and I was like, I can come with you if you want to yeah. go just for traveling. And yeah. We can travel again after yeah. COVID-19. Oh. We were like, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> and how long have you stayed in Japan so far? For just one week, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, about the we week. arrived last Tuesday, so... Oh, yeah. where did you get into? In Tokyo or yeah, yes. Tokyo? Yeah. What did you do in Tokyo? We Many went things to... Yeah, yeah, a lot. Like, we went to see Shibuya and Shinjuku and then we went to... Tokyo Tower and yeah. Tokyo Sky Tree. Oh, yeah. well, we didn't go, we only went up on Tokyo yeah. Tower, but we went to see from outside the Tokyo Sky Tree yeah. as well. And then we went to the the, moon, the eastern gardens, gardens of the, the Imperial Palace. Palace. Oh. It was really pretty there. And then we went to the. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I have a list of uh, the places we went to. We also I think it was a Meiji Shinku shrine, and then we also went to the uh, and Akihabara. Yeah, yeah, Akihabara. What, what did you think about that? I I really liked it. I think I'm I'm more yeah. of a like. I, I read manga and I like anime, she doesn't as no, much, no, so I, I was really. like, I need to bring my friends here who also ah, <laughs> enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. Like, it's really? just like, not for me really, because hmm. it's like, not my interest maybe, but, yeah. but it was still... But did you find place. something interesting in Akihabara or...? Um, well, I mean, it's a, there were a lot of like, I think the streets just look very like vibrant and yeah. I wish I could read Japanese because there was so much manga I would have liked to buy. <laughs> oh, uh, which manga do you like? It's a bit old, but right now I think Haikyuu is my favorite. Haikyuu? I just, yeah, or, yeah. Or, <laughs> so oh, I think I right now that's my favorite. <laughs> but I, I, I like, like, I think I mostly read like shonen manga, but... Oh. Yeah, One Piece is, <laughs> is a long time favorite too. How about Ghibli or Ghibli? Oh yeah, mm, yeah. yeah Ghibli I really like Ghibli. Yeah, yeah. Like my of course. Favorite. Yeah. yeah, of course. An animation, but it's different kind, yeah. different yeah. culture of. Uh, they are really, uh, they are lovely. Uh, yeah. Do you have a special, I mean, a specific favorite Ghibli uh, um, story? I Mine is say. Princess Mononoke for sure. I really like it. Mm. I don't think I can choose. <laughs> After Tokyo, mm -hmm. uh, where did you go? Uh, we came here actually Kitarim? yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we went yesterday to Dotonbori. Yeah. yeah, and then we went to have some okonomiyaki. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then today we came here to the Osaka Castle, and yeah. that's pretty much everything we've done so far. So far, yeah. So uh, you guys uh, stay in uh, around Namba? Area. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty close yeah. to that. Yeah. Do you have some plan to eat? Like, you have a list? Do you want to eat this? Kind of thing? Yeah, we have a lot of like takoyaki we still need to try while <laughs> yeah. we are in Osaka. I just try to like want to eat like a lot of like the like common to Japan like dishes like yeah. omurice and mm. udon noodles and yeah, just like the curry and just like try everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have a plan after here. After this we are going to Kyoto mm -hmm. and we're planning to do a day trip to Nara oh. and then from there we are going to Nagoya yeah. and then we're going to Tokyo and flying back to Finland. Uh, what are you going to do in Kyoto and Nara? Do you have a plan? Not yet? I yeah, just... The... You will see. Yeah, yeah that oh. was the place with, but I don't remember the name, but with like a lot of the gates. gates? Yeah. Uh, in Kyoto? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That uh, one we really want to That's go where to. we're going to, mm. at least. But yeah. I think we're gonna just sort of see what see what, what, what catches see. our interest. <laughs> that's what we always do before we arrive to a city. We just try to look at all the like tourist information and see where are the yeah. best places to visit and decide from that. Mm. Yeah. How about Nara? Yeah, where we want to see the deer. So yeah. At least I <laughs> Buddha. Yeah. yeah. And go to. Uh, Nagoya? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
they have a, a food culture there too, right? Mm. If you have specific food you're going to, you want to try, you will see again. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, ha I have a friend who lives in Nagoya. Mm -hmm. He was a, a, he was in student exchange in Finland, and so I met him when we were in high school. And he lives in Nagoya, so I think I'm gonna text him and see what he recommends to me. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Th those like uh, the local. If you have uh, someone. Local, yeah, yeah, exactly. Then they, they can take you. Yeah, yeah. he can bring us to the best, best restaurants. Yeah. And yeah, it's much better than going to like a uh, tourist area. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. it's much, yeah. yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So far, have you find something uh, you want to bring back to your country? Culture? Well, we we really like the fact that. You can, for example, the Pasmo card, you can use it yeah. in different cities. The same card works in public uh, transportation. Really in Finland, you, every city has a different transport, like the ticket system. Yeah. So you always need to find out what it is and buy. So it's so convenient that you can just use the same card in yeah. every city you go and to, or the, most cities. The trains are really convenient, like mm. just overall, like you can get anywhere really fast. It's, it's yeah. really nice. In Finland, uh, how is the the train system? Is it yeah, like Helsinki is like the only place that has like oh. like local train Trains. network. Otherwise, it's just between yeah. cities. Yeah. So if you go to another place, you take bus. Yes. Yeah. The biggest places have buses, but yeah. Finland is so small that mostly people just drive their own cars. Oh, <laughs> yeah. the only the car. big, only yeah. the biggest places yeah, have you, like a bus. Yeah, system. and you can get to the train with the train to the biggest cities. But then, yeah. if you need to go to a smaller city, then you need to take a bus or just find someone to drive yeah. for you. So, so it's not as like here. I feel like where the trains go everywhere. Yeah, so it's, it's not really nice. as. Do you have some uh, uh, advice or comments for those who are watching the, the YouTube channel? I definitely think that if you have a chance, you should come. And yeah. I did that and I fell in love and now I'm here again and I could yeah. easily come back. And I feel like even sometimes you're scared. Well, she knows a bit of Japanese, but I don't really. Yeah, and I sometimes it like a bit like nervous, like what if they don't speak English and I don't speak Japanese. but. Japanese people are so kind that even yeah. if we don't have a like, common language, still somehow we always figure it yeah. out, and it's just like oh. a real. So like I feel like not to be scared about the fact that even if you don't know, like obviously it's nice to know the basic like greetings and stuff like that, but like yeah. it's like not to worry about too much. Yeah, like. just be brave and <laughs> try things. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> be the contact person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've been trying uh, my uh, best. In, in, yeah. I've been studying environmental oh, science. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you very much for being on our YouTube channel. You're welcome. Uh, where are you guys from? Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Northern part of like France. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, what kind of group is this? <laughs> uh, we're friends. Yeah. Uh, we're high school friends. So high school friends. Yeah. yeah. And this is for your vacation. Yes. yes. Is this first time in Japan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For each of yeah. you, right? <laughs> when did you uh, arrive in Japan? 29th, 29th, of, August. 29th of, August. of August. Oh, it's quite long. Then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where did you fly into? Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did you do uh, in Tokyo area? Mm. Oh, um, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, mostly the main tourist main attraction. Tourist. Yeah. Shibuya, Shinjuku. Uh -huh. yeah. As Asakusa, Asakusa, oh, Asakusa yeah. the, the big, the big tourist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did you do something very Japanese thing? We climbed Mountain Fuji. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we oh Fuji. how how high? Uh, to, 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 to the top. The top. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, <laughs> with the sandal? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, with the boot, real booty boots. Real boots. <laughs> oh, okay. Was it uh, okay? Like a, like a Mm -hmm. um, it was hard, but it was yeah. okay. Hard. The altitude sickness was like the hardest uh, yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. And, and cold, cold and yeah. hard to breathe. Oh, yeah. To breathe. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've never been to the top. <laughs> Just to, to, the, to the to the middle part. Oh, yeah. So you get to the like a half by the yeah. car or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after that, you climb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long did it take to the top? Um, well, we booked um, like a hut so we could 
So I don't really know how long we, we slept on the on the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Oh. we started at what elevation? Fifth, two, fifth two station. Yeah, yeah. two thousand. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah, like, and indeed. then to seventh station, and then from seventh station in the morning to the top. Yeah, we left at oh. three. Yeah. A.M. We left at 3 a.m. to see morning. the sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> so you have to, you went a little by not a little by but uh, to, in two days. Yeah. Yeah. In two days. Two, two days. days. Uh, how long did it take to to the the seven? To the seven stage? Not long. Uh, a few hours. A few hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like, I don't remember, but it wasn't oh, that long. Okay. And you felt a little bit. You felt a sickness. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and it, was it okay if you slept or something? Mm -hmm. How you how yeah. you get over it? Um, so we assumed because we uh, slept in the hut for a night that it would be fine. But like all of I think all of us really in the morning after still had like dizziness. Diz and, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah. So it was I we I think we underestimated the oh really okay. the sickness <laughs> parts because uh -huh. we've never been so high up. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, are you athletes or sports? No, 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 not really. Oh, it must be very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just, um, mm -hmm. uh, no, no cloud at all. Uh, sometimes, yeah. But oh. I think we were just lucky because we were um, above the clouds. Yeah most of the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. So the clouds were mm -hmm. kind of low, so we saw the sunrise above yeah. the clouds. So it was and especially awesome. during the night, there were no clouds. Yeah. So we could see the stars and the cities below. Yeah. Oh. So that was very beautiful. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. The, the artificial light and <laughs> yes. the light. Oh, it was very okay. cool. And uh, was it easy to climb down? Uh, that was <laughs> difficult. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't really like going down. <laughs> <laughs> it was very uh, slippery. slippery. Right. Oh, yeah. I heard sometimes that. we fell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very steep sometimes. Yeah. Also. It's like a rocky, but it's slippery, right? Yeah. yeah it's, it's sandy, so you. You, uh -huh. you fall need to like. <laughs> Okay, now, now you got uh, like a sore, sore muscle. Or oh, something. yeah. <laughs> two, days. two days. We couldn't walk <laughs> for two days. Uh, uh, <laughs> we thought we're gonna go shopping, like easy breezy uh, day. And uh, always, like, the women's floor was on the fir on the second floor. We always had to go up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> the stairs in stores, uh, it's yeah. very hard to climb. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> bad. <laughs> it was hurting. Yeah. Uh -huh. After that, what did you do? Or where, where uh, did you go? We went to Kyoto uh -huh. yeah. uh, for about five days. Uh, yeah, I think so. yeah. And then we came here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What, did you do something very memorable? Uh, serious there? <laughs> Everything or? was very memorable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I'm trying to think back yeah. what we did because uh. we did so many things in in like the past few weeks that it's hard to remember. Uh, yeah. How about food? Yeah. Food. Everything is so good. Yeah. We went to this really great uh, tepanyaki. Is, uh, it, is, oh. is that what it's called? Right. With the, right. Yeah. With the plates on the table. Uh -huh. the, and the chef who uh, make uh, uh, the yes. in yeah. front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that mm -hmm. was really nice. Mm -hmm. was what very did good. you order? <gasps> um, some pork in... Uh -huh. Hot sauce. Oh, and then okay. um, squid legs, squid. Mm. They were very good. Shrimp yeah. as well. Shrimp, yeah. They do some kind of like a juggling stuff, right? The, oh no, they, they no. didn't. They didn't in, no. Yeah. <laughs> you expected? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, not really, because I've never did it before. No, oh. yeah. So I didn't oh. really expect anything. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, you didn't know about the uh, teppanyaki artist kind of thing? No, oh. no. We just went to a place that we passed by and. Mm. Maybe, maybe it's rare, but uh, whenever I hear teppanyaki, the chef like uh, throws things, uh. you know, like uh, uh, the pepper mills and stuff, uh. and uh, uh. The, uh, throw the, like a food and the, uh, the you know the skewer, yeah. the catch with the skewer and stuff. But uh, m maybe not many uh, the restaurant do that <laughs> probably. Yeah, I think and they make a big fire. Oh. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, that was not uh, the case. With that. Yeah, it was just so a normal good. restaurant. But uh, the food was must be good. Mm. Very good, very good. Yeah. yeah. Everything we eat here is yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah. Amazing food. Then what did you, you came here? Uh huh. Uh, what did you do? Or here we mostly did day trips. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we went to I think day one we stayed here. Uh huh. And then we went to Hiroshima. Oh, Hiroshima. And Nara. Nara. So you based in yeah. Tokyo and uh, mm -hmm. moved the uh, yeah. uh, idea. How did you like Hiroshima? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to talk about it. Uh, we learned it was, a lot. Yeah. yeah, we learned. We learned a lot. Quite a lot. Yeah. We went to the yeah the Peace Memorial uh, Museum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, did you know that kind of things before come here? Yeah. yeah, it was interesting to see because we're European, so we did, we were taught from a different point of view. Uh -huh. We always just we were teach, taught in school like what ev what happened in Europe and then what happened in Japan just uh, very Pacific briefly. Area, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, and then now we had the whole uh, yeah the whole story. The image of yeah. The, yeah. The world. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So it, it's a just a, a limited knowledge you have. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I see. I see. Uh, did you go to uh, Miyajima? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We went, we went to uh, you saw the uh, sunset also? It, yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful. Like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I liked it a lot. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I didn't expect that the. Um, how do you say it? The water, uh, the, tide? The, the, the tide. Yeah, uh, I didn't expect that the gate would be accessible at uh, uh, at the evening. Uh, when the low tide. Yeah, yeah the low tide. tide. So you walk through. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What? Do you needed a boots there. Uh, it's muddy, or yeah, but we took uh, off our boots. Yeah, we just went barefoot. Yeah, oh, barefoot. just it's sand, so. It we also went a bit in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Very happy. Uh, in general, did you uh, find or do you have something in your mind you want to bring back to your country if, if possible? Like, uh, if, if possible, so if, if impossible thing is it okay? Like, uh, things or image, uh, mm. idea. You know, you want to bring back Buddha, big Buddha or something like that, it's okay. Oh. Because, you know. But I think for us, the main difference with home was how friendly everyone, everyone is, is yeah, here. Oh, yeah. And they will go to lengths, even if they don't speak English, they will go to lengths to help you. And um, yeah, and everyone is just so friendly and that would be great if at <laughs> home it would be oh. If you have time, where else would you like to go to? Um, we like the northern part yeah, of the island, Hokkaido. but we don't yeah, have Hokkaido. yeah we uh, don't have time uh -huh. to go there. But that would have been nice. I would love to visit one day. So you like to come back? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. uh, then finally, could you give us some advice? Those who are maybe thinking about coming to Japan. Uh, like advice or message? Mm -hmm. I think um, we we are traveling with backpacks, oh, so we don't have uh, suitcases. Oh, and I think that's a good one because the stairs of the of the subway lines oh. are often very high. Yeah. And there's when there's no elevators, it's very easy to just take oh. all your luggage on your back. Yeah, exactly. it's heavy, but I think it's worth it. I to think take we did back. I think we did it. Also, right. don't overpack. Yeah, <laughs> because you will buy a lot here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a mistake we've made. <laughs> Thank you very much for your uh, for sharing your yeah, opinions and experiences. It was very fun talking to you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>